Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has certainly been an emotional week in the boxing community as the sport suffered two major losses. Just this morning, we learned of the passing of legendary boxing trainer Nazim Richardson. Brother Nazim, to those who knew him, led countless fighters to greatness, including Hall of Famers Bernard Hopkins and Shane Mosley. He was not only a titan in the ring, but outside of it in his native city of Philadelphia, a major force in the community where he touched countless lives and truly embraced the city's motto of brotherly love. We here at DAZN and Golden Boy send our heartfelt condolences to the friends and family of Brother Nazim. Also, we continue to mourn the loss of Golden Boy fighter Travel Maison, who was tragically killed in a car accident last week in Texas. He would have turned just 25 years old tonight. It's his birthday. In the ring, the Austin native was undefeated at 17-0 with 13 knockouts, nine of which came in the first round. Talent aside, Travel was a young man who was mature beyond his years and will be remembered for his kindness and social conscience as well. In his debut on DAZN in August, he honored victims of gun violence by walking out to the ring with no music and asked the commentators and the audience to remain silent in honor of the victims. Tonight, in his honor, we'd like to replay that moment. Ladies and gentlemen, at the request of Travel Maison, who is set to make his ring walk, he has asked that you join him in silence and use your flashlight on your mobile devices tonight in memory of those who fell victim in the recent violence here on American soil. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, in the last two weeks, the boxing world was hit with two devastating, unfortunate passings. This morning, the boxing world lost one of the most knowledgeable trainers in its rich history as brother Nazim Richardson has passed away. Known for training many great fighters and champions, he was a staple of the boxing community for decades. The Golden Boy team is saddened by his passing and we send our condolences to the Richardson family. And on July 15th, 2020, tragedy struck as one of our own, a beloved champion and inspiration to many departed from us too soon. Tonight, we dedicate this event in the memory of the undefeated, the WBC and ABF super welterweight champion, Travel Black Magic Maison and his family watching. His Golden Boy family, DAZN and boxing fans across the world, we send our heartfelt condolences and prayers to his family, loved ones, and team Maison. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we now toll a memorial count to 10 in honor of both brother Nazim Richardson and Travel. Black Magic Maison. Travel Maison, rest in eternal peace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, certainly an emotional night here at Fantasy Springs. And Sergio, I know you had some things you would like to say here tonight. Well, I got the uh, opportunity to call Travel Maison's last fight, and I could tell you he could light up a room with a smile and with his fists. I mean, he was an impressive young man. It's a tragedy what happened. And with Brother Nazim, I go way back to the amateur days with Brother Nazim, and I, I can tell you that the sport will miss him. 
every time he had a smile on his face. He always talked in boxing. He spoke in boxing parables, and and he always he always made you listen. People that love boxing, whether you're old or young or new, you always listen to Brother Nazim when he spoke because it was magic, and he will be missed. Well said, Sergio. And for more on Travel Maison and how he'll affect tonight's main event, we check in with Beto Duran. Yeah, Virgil Ortiz is dedicating tonight's main event to the memory of Travel Maison. He actually has a special kit that was made for him, a jacket and trunks that will have Black Magic Maison on it when he walks out to the ring. Now, they met last August, and Virgil said himself, when he meets people, he's not exactly the friendliest. He's kind of cold right off the bat, but they struck up a friendship. Maison was on Virgil's homecoming fight last August in Grand Prairie, Texas, and afterwards, they took pictures together. And this week, uh, Virgil decided to post that picture in memory of Maison and also wished him a happy birthday. And we were talking to him at the fighter meetings. We noticed that Virgil was lowering his guard. We saw some emotion for Virgil. We're so used to seeing him real stoic, real serious, but he started opening up about Maison. And there you see that Instagram post. He said, I can't believe I'm writing this. Rest in peace, Travel Maison. You're a badass boxer, but most importantly, humble and a good person and one of the coolest people I knew. And remember, they were only friends for a few months. Uh, God had other plans. So the memory of Travel Maison will live on with Virgil Ortiz tonight. And you can see Travel's name is on the trunks of Victor or Virgil Ortiz Jr. rather. Also the nickname of Travel, Black Matt.